What's up everyone, this is Danny from Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'll be showing how to speed up your Nexus 7 with these three easy mods. Now the first mod I'm going to talk about is an app called Cedar. Now what Cedar does is going to fine tune the Android system so you have a better and smoother experience. Now you're going to go to the link I provided, you're going to scroll down and then you're going to download this APK file right here. Make sure to have unknown sources checked and install it. I'm going to launch Cedar right now to show you what it's looked like. Now here you have the button to enable it, and you have these three options. Suspend RNG service while screen off, extend IOQ, and start automatically on boot. You want to make sure all three of them are checked, and the last option should be moderate. Now from now on, whenever you reboot or restart, you're going to have the Cedar start automatically, and it's going to do its magic and make everything smooth and fast. App should load faster, and home screen should scroll more smoothly. Give it a try. Now the second mod I'm going to show you is a mod called Mitsu Yoshi EXT4 mod. Now many of you may not know this, but Android is also Linux, and if you don't know what Linux is, it's just an OS that many servers run on. Now servers have all these features where they make sure your files don't get lost in case of a crash, but for us, we don't need this, so we're going to remove a feature called journaling on our Nexus 7 to make um, read and write speeds faster on our tablet. Now if you don't know what journaling is, it's just a preventative measure to make sure files don't get lost when your system crashes. Honestly, we're not going to need it, so you're just going to download the file right here, the script remove journal dot zip. You're going to boot into your custom recovery. I'm going to do that right now. Now I'm going to use Torp right now and I'm going to flash the zip to show you how to do it. Let's give it a few more seconds. Here's Torp coming up right now. And all you have to do is just go to install, browse to the download folder, and then click on the zip and just swipe to confirm flash. I already done that on my tablet so I'm not going to do that. But when you reboot, you should have um, journaling removed and Android should be a lot more smoother and faster when doing stuff. Let me just reboot my system right now and go back. Now the third mod I'm going to show you involves custom kernels. Now if you don't know what a custom kernel is, it's like tune-ups and upgrades for your car. Now of course with any car, running stock will work for everybody, but if you do upgrades and performance upgrades, it's going to run better and faster. This is what a custom kernel is too. Now you're going to go to the link I provided, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to look for zips. You're going to go to that link and down the latest version will be all the way at the bottom. Now I've already done that so I'm just going to boot into my custom recovery and flash it for you to show you what it's like. Now I'm going to use Torp again. I'm just going to flash the kernel. Here we are in Torp again. We're going to click install. I'm going to go back to download. I'm going to click on Franco Kernel Nightly. The latest one right now is 65. I'm going to swipe to confirm flash and that's it. Now when you reboot your system, you'll have a new custom kernel. You might even have done the journal remove zip and you might have even used Cedar. All three could work together, but if you find that one works better overall, just stick with that. That was how to speed up your Nexus 7 with three easy mods. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on Nexus 7 Softmodder. Thanks, and you have a good day.